for over 80 years. One company has set the standard for cutting, beveling, clamping, and aligning pipe. Matthew Dearman. Today we are going to set up the Matthew Dearman band crawler. With each different pipe diameter, the crawler legs must be angled to match the band's radius. Start by loosening the four hex head bolts on the fixed legs using a 7 16 wrench. Next, with the legs loose, latch the crawler to the band. Set the angle of the legs by rotating them until the groove in the wheel matches the radius of the band. Once the angle of the legs matches the radius of the band, tighten the hex head bolts using a 7 16 wrench, taking care not to over tighten. Recheck and adjust as necessary. Next, attach the flexible drive cable to the body of the crawler. To ensure proper engagement, have one person rotate the crank handle while another threads the flexible drive shaft into the body. On each leg, ensure the nut on the outside of the latch is flush with the end of the long latch pin. Also, make sure each leg has approximately three threads showing on the long latch pin before the tension nut. Loosen the set screw, install the eccentric torch holder or donut. Do not clamp on the gap or opposite the gap in the eccentric torch holder. Install the machine barrel torch into the eccentric torch holder. Followed by the torch head angle adapter and properly sized tip. Set the desired bevel angle and position the torch to the cut line. Turn the set screw to lock the torch. Starting at 3 o'clock, Crank the drive cable to move the crawler towards 12 o'clock and see if the crawler slips on the band. If the crawler slips on the band traveling uphill, open one leg and tighten the tension nut a quarter turn. Close the leg, then open the second leg and tighten its tension nut a quarter turn. Repeat until the crawler doesn't slip.